Good morning, this is Steve O'Hare from Signal Centre. Today is Tuesday, the 21st of September, and we'll take a look at cryptocurrencies this morning. Uh, I'm going to start with Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, Ripple, and finish off with Cardano. Uh, so yesterday we saw a uh, large sell-off in cryptocurrencies. Global risk conditions worsened. Um, this led to indices getting hit quite hard and uh, the knock-on effect was cryptos followed. Um, we're going to take a look at um, one candle in particular on Bitcoin. Uh, this was formed uh, from the week of the 6th of September. This is a bearish outside candle and it's very negative for uh, price action. Uh, we saw an indecisive week last week, uh, but we followed through this week with more a negative price action. We broke the 41,340 support, which was there, uh, but price, that's happened overnight and prices have reacted higher. So let's take a, a look at the daily chart and we can see uh, there is potential for, uh, well, we played this double uh, bottom measured move target, uh, didn't quite get hit. That was at 54,331. We stalled here at 52,956, so not far away. But you can see that the candle we're posting currently, uh, we're, we've got a, uh, eight o'clock UK time. So there's still a little bit of a way to play out for the rest of the day. But this is uh, potentially a good reaction for Bitcoin. Um, we had these uh, previous uh, resistance levels turned into support and this congestion area around um, the uh, uh, early August um, date. and um, Price action dipped below here. We've got a low uh, posted at just around about 40,200 and it's reacted quite aggressively over the last four hours. We can see we've posted a bullish hammer on that four hour candle. So potential for a little bit of a recovery in Bitcoin as we move into the day. Uh, but still, for me, the risk is to the downside. Um, really need to take out this uh, area of support around about 40,000 and even just below that at 37,000 as well. Ethereum, um, we saw we've got this band of support, which uh, again from previous swing highs now turned into support and a supportive um, structure. Uh, back in early August. Uh, again, we broke through. I mean, it looks like a potential head and shoulders formation. It's not an ideal one, maybe a complex head and shoulders with n a number of left shoulders. Uh, we've got the head, very sharp um, retracement for to start with the neckline. So we've got this trend line support, almost call it a neckline, which has been broken. And we're trading just below that at the moment, but we've seen some decent uh, price action and supportive cover coming in around about the 28 uh, 50 to 2900 dollar level um, really need to recapture ground above the 3100 level for me to uh, rest easy on ethereum uh, still under pressure for me and potential for just a retest of this neckline before further selling comes in uh, Ripple stalled at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement from the previous up move. We got up to 141.62. Um, the, the breakdown, which happened around about the 7th of September, uh, that left us with a support line which has been broken this morning. It's a perforated uh, support line there and price action just stalling below it. So uh, looks almost a little bit like a bearish flag. Uh, really, again, same as uh, Ethereum, really, really needs to capture ground above $95. Or if we do get a break of, sorry, $0.95, cents, or if we do get a break of $0.86, cents, then if, uh, Ripple is in uh, a little bit of bother. On Cardano, again, you can see this sort of like typical shape of a head and shoulders formation, a topping formation. And um, the 7th of uh, September low has been reached in here as well. We haven't quite got down to the 61.8% Fib retracement. We've stalled in front of it, potentially around about the 50%. Let's take a look. Yeah, we stalled at the 50% Fib retracement, not a great level for Fibonacci, but 61.8 is, um, is a little bit further away. So support below here, and also we'll have support in the shape of this swing low uh, here. 
let's get it as a, a, a true line um let's get rid of the, a few of these lines just to let you show you the, sh the shape of things um and then this is what how we get the fibonacci levels we draw from the swing low to the swing high and we get the 50 percent coming in here 61.8 percent coming in there um i hope that's given you a little bit of insight so overall conclusion is potential for a little bit of a recovery today if we don't get it then uh, cryptocurrencies could be in trouble. The indices have, are off to a good start, so uh, there may be a little bit of follow through from there. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to speaking to you next week.